We're off the campaign trail and in court for trial. Donald Trump once again before a judge, this time in New York City for his civil defamation trial. The former president's trial will determine whether he will have to pay former Elle magazine columnist E. Jean Carroll even more cash for defaming her in 2019 when he denied her allegations of sexual abuse. Carroll taking the stand today detailing the assault saying, quote, I'm here because Donald Trump assaulted me. The former president actually seated just feet away from her during that testimony. Our senior investigative correspondent, Eric Kentursky, is also there. He joins us outside Manhattan federal court right now. So, Aaron, the judge actually threatened to boot Trump from court. What happened? He did. Uh, former President Trump, as E. Jean Carroll has been testifying, is making some side commentary that her attorneys say is within earshot of the jury. In fact, when uh, E. Jean Carroll uh, says things, he often shakes his head or, or mouths, that's not true, it's false. When a video of a statement Trump made that defamed Carroll uh, played for the jury, you know, he sort of uh, looked at them and said, it's, it's true. And, and, and the, the judge admonished Trump, saying he has a right to be present in the courtroom for his trial, but that right can be forfeited if he doesn't follow the rules. The judge had already told him to keep his voice down when conferring with his attorneys, not to make extraneous comments that could be heard by the jury. And the, the judge said, you know, I, I don't want to have to, you know, kick, kick you out. And Trump said back to him, I would love that. And the judge, Lewis Kaplan, said, I know you would because you just can't control yourself. As soon as we came back from lunch just now, the defense said the judge has showed general hostility toward Trump, asked the judge to recuse himself. Judge Kaplan responded with a single word, Kira, denied. <laughs> it's like just poking the bear every single time. So what more did we hear from Carol when she took the stand, Aaron? She's been giving some rather anguished testimony about what she said her life was like after June 2019 when Trump defamed her for uh, denying that, that she had sexually assaulted and, 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 uh, uh, in, a, in a dressing room at Bergdorf Goodman. Uh, Carol said that that unleashed his followers to send her messages threatening sexual and physical violence. She said her, her life as she knew it uh, ended uh, and, and she has been telling the jury that she's struggled to get her reputation back since, but has mainly been living in fear for her safety. She explained how she got a pit bull, that she never let off the leash until Trump made those statements, uh, questioning her veracity and, and calling her a, you know, a political pawn. Now she has a pit bull patrolling her property in upstate New York. She said she sleeps with a shotgun in her bed that she inherited from her father and recently bought bullets for it. Wow. All right, Aaron, we'll uh, continue to follow uh, everything that's happening today. See if um, Trump can behave himself and remain in that courtroom. We'll keep checking in. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.